Are you familiar with Airtable and Notion? So basically, these are productivity tools, but not just an ordinary productivity tool because they are a versatile productivity tool that offer a range of features for organizing information, managing projects, and collaborating with teams. So basically, we're going to be comparing them today. First up, we'll talk about Airtable. So Airtable is a database style structure. Basically, they use a spreadsheet um, style interface combined with base, uh, database functionality, allowing users to create customizable tables to be organized and managing data. Now, they are also well known for their flexibility, their collaboration methods, their integrations with Slack, Google Calendar, and Zapier. And lastly, with the templates that they give. Because as you can see, even, their uh, even in their official website, they are the fastest way to build apps. Now, let's move on to Notion right here. Actually, I have been using Notion or I have experienced Notion before when, uh, when I was working for a certain client and all the tutorials, all the workflow guides were in a Notion website. So let's see what Notion has to offer aside from that. So now Notion is well known as an all-in-one workspace because it offers a unified workspace where users can create documents, databases, wikis, notes, and more, all within the same platform. That's, uh, that's one thing I really love about Notion because you can find everything there. It's like a, it's like a toolbox that's complete. Now, they are also well known with their flexibility, collaboration, and integration, especially with Google Drive, Trello, and GitHub. As you can as you notice, Trello is a project management software and GitHub is um also a versa versatile project management software. I mean, they have a code builder and you can share a lot of stuff in GitHub. Now for the templates, because uh this is important, we want to save time. If you're um if you're the key person that will be using this, you want to save time, right? So templates are important. So they offer a variety of templates for different use cases, such as project management, meeting notes, and personal task tracking, providing users with a starting point for creating their own workflows. So basically, the categories that they differ is in the structure, the use case, learning curve, and price. Because, and the most important rather, the most important factor here is the price. So let's talk about it. Airtable offers a free plan with limited features as well as paid plans with more advanced features and higher usage limits. On the other hand, Notion also offers a free plan with basic features as well as paid plans with additional features and collaboration options. So if you were to decide if you want to go with Notion or Airtable right here, the only thing that you need to do is you need to depend on your specific needs and your preferences and your workflows because whichever of these two fit those factors, that would be the best tool for you so that moving on with your project or you know with your methods, with your strategies, your plans, you won't have big problems because everything will be provided by the, um, by the tool or the app or the website that you have chosen because you know for sure that it fits you well. So that's all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please do not forget to like and share this video. Also, kindly hit the subscribe and notification bell for a lot of more videos. This is your buddy, Josh, and I'm going to see you on the next one.